events over the Easter weekend. Robinson Okenye, KTN. Controversial former sports cabinet secretary Rashid Achesa is set to spend a night in police custody at Mudaiga police station in connection with allegations of extortion. The arrest early today has sparked protests from his two lawyers, Dunstan Omari and Cliff Ombetta, who claimed their client was being held in comunicado without their involvement. Ode Francis reports. In a strange twist of events that reads like a script from a crime thriller, former cabinet minister Rashid Echesa found himself behind bars at the Mudaiga police station. Rashid Echesa went to the regional DCI headquarters in Nairobi, Nairobi area. He was told that he has been arrested. He was told that the reasons for his arrest was that he had faked his kidnapping. He finds himself in trouble in a web of allegations related to extortion. There was a video circulating in social media where Rashid Echesa is kidnapped, he is handcuffed, and they told him that he stage managed that handcuff. The former sports cabinet secretary was apprehended at his residence on Thursday afternoon and is set to be presented in court on Tuesday next week, meaning he will spend an entire Easter holiday in the police cells. Dunstan Omari, HSS legal counsel, claims his client was being held under mysterious circumstances and that details surrounding his arrest remain shrouded in secrecy. It is beyond 24 hours since Echesa was arrested. Today is a working day. The police have simply detained him so that they'll continue detaining him until Tuesday next week. Echesa will have stayed behind police bars for more than eight days. Do they want so that the injuries that he has suffered as a, as a result of the torture to heal? Why are they going to keep him for seven to eight days? Is there something that they are preventing? This is the old days tricks whereby you are injured, you are hurt, and then they let you heal and they say there are no marks. The arrest comes a week after Echesa's handler was on 20th March charged in Kibera court for allegedly extorting over 240 million shillings from Kakamega Governor Fernandez Baraza. Echesa is handcuffed. Standing next to Echesa is the governor of uh, the governor of uh, Kakamega. He is there, and they are other bodyguards. What if Echesa kidnapped himself? What was the governor doing there? What was he doing there? He's not a policeman. William Simiu Matere, alias Elijah, appeared before the Kibera senior principal magistrate Anne Mwangi, where he was charged with two counts of demanding property with menace and conspiracy to commit a felony. Odi Francis, KT News, Nairobi.